Hey guys, thanks for tuning into this new video review. Now we're gonna get to the show here in just a minute, but I wanna tell you about this new channel that I found. It's called Stan Lee's World of Heroes, and it's a channel for all things related to the superhero lifestyle and enthusiast culture. With both scripted and unscripted shows, they've got something for everyone from sci-fi and fantasy fans to viewers looking for comedy content and pop culture news. And they brought together some of your favorite stars from the geek universe and beyond. Now, Everybody knows who Stan Lee is. He's the co-creator of The Amazing Spider-Man, Thor, The Avengers, and this new channel, as I said, called World of Heroes, has all kinds of shows, such as the upcoming cartoon, Bad Days. Also, they have this really cool show called Fan Wars, where fans debate the big questions from comic books and stuff directly from Stan Lee. Another one of my favorite shows is called Cocktails with Stan where you basically take Stan Lee and talk to some of the hottest stars that are coming out, such as what you're seeing right now with Felicia Day. And if you guys are fans of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, you probably remember her. So go ahead and click on the annotation right here, and you'll be able to subscribe to them because new shows are coming this month, September. So give it a look, guys. It's Stan Lee. Stan the Man Lee. It doesn't get much bigger than that. And now, on to the review. <laughs> And today, thanks to the folks at Kapow Toys, we'll be taking a look at the new AM16 Jet Viacon. Um, I don't know if that says it there, or there, or that probably just says Transformers. Um, I don't know what any of this stuff says. That says Transformers. Uh, that says Takara Tomy. So, that's cool, but you, <laughs> I can't read anything, because this is, unfortunately, an Asia-only exclusive. The only way that you can get this is if you got it from, like, Big Bad Toy Store or something that import these from overseas and that's really kind of unfortunate because this guy is awesome as you can see you got the nice picture here of his actual vehicle mode um which really people say it looks like a flying batmobile uh it, it really kind of does it really more or less reminds me of like the batmobile from batman beyond so there's that you got his arms micron figure which meh we'll get into that you got the side image here flip around here side image you got technical specs which i can't read any of it because it's all in a language that I'm not familiar with. Uh, and then you see the, the ability to combine the different arms micron things to create this big giant weapon. You got breakdowns, you have the, the one for the Jet Viacon, and then another one, I don't, maybe Megatron. I think that's Megatron's. Might be. But you have all this stuff right here. And I mean, th these boxes are really big for what you're getting. I mean, really, there there isn't much. And it's, it's almost like they really should size these down. And maybe that would cut some of the cost off. Because really, when you open it, I mean, I've already opened it and I've taken them out. Uh, because when you open it up and it's really, really tight in here, I mean, this is what you have, and it's it's obnoxious, kind of. I mean, inside here, you can see they have the instructions and stuff, but you don't need this big, giant cardboard for that. And then the figure itself sits here. Here's the figure. He just sits here in, in a plastic bag. So it's really kind of pointless, but there's the box, or the inside of the box. So let's get to this guy now. And again, like I said, it really does kind of remind me of how the, the Batman Beyond Batmobile looks. Uh, you, if you take the wings off, it really does have a very car look to it. Now you can see that there are some stickers that are applied. You got a sticker here, here. These stickers are considerably better than breakdowns. Uh, they're sticking on here a whole lot better. You got a little chrome kind of sticker right here. One across on the bottom as well. There's more on the actual uh, robot mode, but we'll get into that in a little, little bit. Uh, he's got these arm micron ports all over him. You got one, two, three, four. Um, you could probably fit one in there. So five. So you got five on each side. So you got like ten here in vehicle mode. Um, and really, th this is it. There, there's no landing gear or anything. It kind of, well, it kind of does. I mean, it's got like this little bit right here. Um, these don't really kind of touch down, but this bottom section here touches down on the ground. So it, it really just kind of sits there, but I really do like the way this guy looks. Now, the biggest problem that I have um, are these Arms Micron things. Now, a lot of people like these, and I, I, I dig the idea. I don't like the implementation of them. Uh, they're basically kind of like Target Masters, things of that nature. Uh, but I don't like the fact that they're model kits. It, th this kind of raises the price of it, and I, I think that they could probably make it cheaper if, if it was just, just one solid figure, but uh, this is him in his gun mode, and you can take this bit right here. You can very 
difficult to do so, but uh, you can take this, and like I said, you can plug these into any one of the ARMS Micron ports, and you'll have that going around. Or you can take this, I guess, and fold this. You got little holes on the underside here, and you got some little pegs that you can plug this into. And you, you can have that fly around, but again, now it's, it's kind of goofy, I guess. So that's really kind of lame, but it... I, I, he's supposed to transform into like an iguana whatever I, I don't know so you just take the arms you fold these down just like so take this fold this up actually this that's I, I had it wrong this is how the the gun oops I'm still transforming them wrong uh, this is how the gun is supposed to be I, I apologize it's supposed to be like this and then you put the legs down and uh, this is his. This is his iguana, um, his little pet iguana. And uh, honestly, I, it it it's stupid. I mean, it doesn't sit there very well. Um, there, if you balance it just right, you can get it. Uh, and you can see a bunch of stickers that are added on here. You got a nice Decepticon logo in here. This is just pointless to me. I really wish that they just gave us a regular gun. First, as comparison, uh, I mean, if you remember my review on the actual regular Viacon, you can remember that the RID Viacon was a lot shorter or smaller than the first edition one. And that's the same here with the jet guy. Uh, I mean, obviously, the jet one's going to be a little bit more bulky because it's got the wings. But when you look at the sizes and stuff, this is a whole lot more similar in terms of the actual scale and such. But you can see absolutely gorgeous and, and while it does look like a car there is some good differences between it but you can totally see where a jet vehicon could very easily become a regular vehicon i mean there's a lot of similarities here and that's not all the similarities are striking between how they transform into their robot modes the jet guy and the regular rid one are almost identical which is absolutely amazing so to do so come around to the back and first what you need to remember to do is separate these wings off to the side and then you're going to rotate these around and kind of angle these up just to kind of get them out of the way make sure you do this because if you don't you can really stress things out now from here on you're going to see a lot of similarities between this and the rid viacon first you want to kind of separate this pull these out much like what we saw with the car pull those out just like so take this section here well take this fold these bits kind of up like so then fold this bit down and again so many similarities go ahead and separate these fold this in fold this in take this section here fold this out rotate that down and that's just going to peg right in do that on this side as well fold 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 peg and here you have the legs and again so so similar it's amazing and striking to me how they're able to really kind of get two totally different looking robots and 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 figures just in general from basically the same kind of transformation it's absolutely amazing to me then take this pull this up and uh, we'll, get, we'll get into this section here in a little bit but then you want to take this kind of wiggle this loose these tabs here are a whole lot bigger and longer than the via so it's a little bit more of a pain in the butt and then fold that out there we go and rotate this around just like so do that on this one there we are fold this out angle this all the way down kind of straighten out his head have that there kind of angle these little wing bits here in the back kind of rotate these around just to kind of straighten everything out and basically you have the jet vehicon in his robot mode now uh, one thing that i have to tell you is that a lot of people were complaining uh, because of the the back bit here that's about as far as it normally would go and it was really prominent and very very ugly but actually this whole section in here is really kind of misassembled so what you want to do come around here unscrew this and then there's a screw up here on the shoulders you can take this whole assembly out and then you can realign this and when you do so you should be able to get it to pull all the way up just like so now you can fold it back a little bit more but there's also these little tabs right here in here that serve no purpose and as you can see I cut them off and then when you get it all the way up you can fold that back considerably further 
to his car counterpart. And as you can see, there is a big difference between the coloring. Now this is a much more purple color where this is a lot darker of a blue. And you, you can see a big difference in terms of that color. Uh, that doesn't bug me nearly as much as I thought it would. But you can totally see that they still have so many striking similarities. I mean, so much of the same. You got these little side panels here. Very similar to the actual car version. The leg transformation is almost identical. The arm transformation, identical. The head reveal, identical. I mean, you got the back, which doesn't have much kibble here. But this guy obviously has a lot of kibble because he's got wings to kind of hide, which really doesn't look that bad. The biggest problem that I probably have with it would be the shoulders. Uh, now, these giant bits right here really are kind of clunky and, and kind of get in the way of the wings. And that's probably the biggest downfall with this guy but it really isn't that big of a deal if you ask me i mean i still think that this thing is wonderful and having both of these guys side by side just really wants me to get like a ton more now one minor problem that i do have that people have been able to fix is he comes with the decepticon sticker as you can see it's it's right there it's supposed to go there now the problem is this plastic piece this clear plastic piece is on top of a molded section underneath it. And much like the R.I.D. Viacon, that molded section has the Decepticon logo on it. Now, there are ways to get at this. You have to pop this clear piece off, but it's kind of a pain in the butt, and I don't necessarily recommend doing it because you could potentially break something. But if you want to put that Decepticon sticker on there, you got to put it on the outside of that, and I just think that's kind of ugly. So as you can see, I obviously didn't put it on there. Now, for his weapon, again, you can take this and you can... Put this into his uh, gun mode, just like so. And obviously, you can peg it in here. Well, first, you have to fold that down there. And you can peg this in on the side. But, uh, again, I, I really think that that is a very ugly, oversized gun for this guy. It's just really unattractive. So, when it comes down to it, I, I really, really dislike this Arms Micron. I, I really think that it's oversized. It just doesn't work, in my opinion, with, with, the, with the character, I guess, because his gun is supposed to be considerably smaller. This is the first edition one, and, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could kind of fold that in, and I don't know if you can... Well, you could have him hold it, I guess. You could have it come up there, but it's it's just... I mean, this isn't even the right one, and I don't know where the R.I.D. one is. Articulation-wise, it's identical to, to what we have on the R.I.D. Viacon. The head is on a little ball joint. You get a nice left and right motion, although you don't get too terribly much, but you can still actually keep the head straight and rotate it around, which I do like. The shoulders here are on ball joints, but again, there's so much kind of stuff going on here. Your, your ranges of motion is a little bit more limited, but you can still get it to do things. The, these elbows are a little wonky though. I mean, it rotates here, and then it also has an elbow joint, but it also has a ball joint here, which it's, you kind of have to keep the, the elbow joint bending outward because you can't rotate that around, so that kind of sucks. The hands here just uh, swivel back and forth as part of the transformation. Nothing at the waist, but the hips move forward and back. They also rotate, although it's stiff. So um, it does rotate at the upper part of the thigh, just got to work it a little bit, then bend at the knee, and you got a little pivot at the foot. And you can see some other stickers that are coming in. You have the sticker right here. This section right here is a nice kind of chrome sticker. You got a chrome purple sticker right here on the center piece. And then this bit right here, that's all a wraparound sticker as well. So again, with the stickers, which... Eh, you're paying a premium cost for a figure that I really think that they should paint themselves. I love putting on stickers. You guys know that with my repro label reviews. I just really think that that's when you're paying that much for, for a figure, there should be paint on it already. I mean, you, you could paint that kind of stuff on there. It, they're, they're minor little nitpicks, I suppose, that I have. But again, you're, you're paying a lot of money for this figure. And when it comes down to it, I think that should just be included. So, uh, But that's about it. I love this figure. It's absolutely awesome. Now, the transformation back, again, very similar. You just rotate this around just like so. These arms, like I said, are a little bit more tricky to get to line up just because this tab, as you can see, this is considerably longer than what we got on the actual car version. So just kind of rotate these up, peg those in, get them nice and secure in there. Just kind of leave them right there. Take this, straight the head out, pull this up, bring this down just like so. Come down here to the legs, lift this, fold that down, lift that, fold that down, 
and then extend these all the way out just like so do that on both sides rotate these around and kind of straighten these then bring these together and uh, these these definitely clip together a little bit more uh, firmly than the car version as well so just like so bring these bring this section up like that cover that around fold these all the way down now kind of push them in there then take this and you want to slide it in on the side first and then bring these up and that clips in do that on this side as well slide that into the front then push that all together bring these kind of out rotate these around kind of angle them back down just like that then bring these up and these will tab into the side bits just like so right there and there you have the jet viacon back in his jet form again wonderful looking figure i really do dig this guy my biggest nitpicks would be again very similar with with breakdown that that the stickers while they're nice and as i said i love stickers i just really think that for the price we're paying they should paint this kind of stuff on here and not just give us stickers because stickers infinitely cheaper than paint well not infinitely but a lot more cheaper than paint and I really think that his little gun, I, I, I really don't like the arms micron bits. I, I like the concept. I just don't think that they're implemented very good. So that really bugs me, um, you know, because like I said, we're paying a premium price for these figures and we're getting a model kit and we're getting some stickers, which is cool. OK, I mean, and I'm happy that we're actually getting this figure and I'd rather get this figure even with these stickers and the arms micron than not get them. So don't get confused. I mean, I'm very happy that we got this figure. I love this guy. I just really think that the implementation of the whole Arms Micron thing is just really kind of subpar in my opinion. And very difficult to tell people to pick this figure up because of it, because I just don't think it's worth it. The figure itself though, in order to, to compensate, has to be seriously awesome. And I really do think that this guy is. Breakdown is my other old, only uh, Arms Micron figure that I have, and that's kind of a letdown because the figure itself just doesn't really impress me all that much. This Jet Viacom though absolutely does impress me and I would absolutely without a doubt recommend you guys pick this up. Now the best place to do it as I said is online. Kapow Toys is a wonderful chance to be able to get these. Other places such as Big Bad Toy Store and TF Source also have them available. But really those are the only places that you're going to be able to get him. Aside from going over to eBay and paying a whole lot more. So if you guys are interested in having a nice flying army of Viacons I would absolutely recommend picking up the Jet Viacon without any question whatsoever. So until next time, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomus. I'll talk to you later.